What's up everybody and welcome back to another video right here on the Crypto Grind channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about Ledger. Now, if you haven't seen the news or haven't been up to date with it, basically Ledger wallets have introduced a new service called Ledger Recover. Basically, it's a service that helps you recover a lost seed phrase. In this video, we're going to be talking about why it is possibly a bad thing to actually happen and what you can do about it if you do hold a ledger and basically if it's time to ditch ledger and find another hot wallet. If that's something that interests you, make sure you're watching all the way to the end. Hit that like button and if you find this video useful, of course, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. It really does help the channel grow. Now, doing a bit more of a deep dive on that whole ledger situation, yesterday being the 16th of May, they announced a new service called Ledger Recover, where essentially it's an opt-in service, where if you choose to opt-in after the latest software upgrade, they will be able to have access to your seed phrase and send it in three different parts to different um, service providers who will store your seed phrase in an encrypted way. And if you ever need that seed phrase because you've lost it, you will be able to recover it. Now, it sounds great, but the big problem is, is something that this Twitter user over here basically brought up and saying said that it's a software update. Isn't the software built into with the feature of collecting the seed phrase? What I mean is if we haven't opted in, the software still contains the ability to collect my seed phrase and data leaks happen no matter how secure the product is. So basically what they're saying is even if you don't opt in, is there still a possibility that Ledger can still see your seed phrase? And if for whatever reason there is a security breach, your seed phrase can be stolen. And obviously there have been data breaches with Ledger before. So if they have your username and the seed phrases become exposed, all of a sudden your cryptos are in a very, very unsecure place and possibly can be stolen. Now, this is just a little bit on the website about Ledger Recover of how it works. So basically you identify, ident you identify yourself and then your shards get sent to different places. I will put the actual website down below so you can have a look at it yourself. But basically, this is the type of thing that they're trying to solve where people say, you know, I wrote a word down twice and they don't know which one it is. They lost a few of the, the seed phrases, um, you know, and that sort of thing. And that's what they're trying to actually protect against. But this user here, Fubar, has also had a really nice um, thread about what this whole situation is about and why it is actually very scary. So basically, somebody went onto Reddit and said, is there a backdoor, yes or no? An official answer from Ledger would be very much appreciated, also because the alternative goes against the number one rule of never typing your seed in a connected device. The silence on how this recovery works is the worst response. Customers appreciate transparency. Now, one of the co-founders of Ledger replied, the device sends encrypted shards of your seed to different companies. If you decide to use the service, you can, of course, still choose to back it up yourself. And then we will go into a bit more of a reply here. Um, the second reply to this from somebody else is trusting the proprietary secure element to do its part was a single thread that held this community together. And now that's been severed. I can no longer recommend Ledger to anyone who gives a damn about their digital sovereignty. Now, it is pretty scary. And Fubar went on to say here, it's opting. You don't have to use it. This is a misdirection. A hardware wallet should have a secure enclave where a private key never leaves the device under any circumstances. They've opened APIs for the enclave to send encrypted key shards to third parties on the internet. Now, that's a very important part. The whole purpose of these cold wallets is actually not really to connect to the internet. So the fact that your, the seed phrase is now exposed to the internet is very, very, very dangerous. A lot of us on the Gem Hunters channel actually had a live stream a while back where we said your seed phrase should not be stored on your phone, on your computer, anything that connects to the internet. It should be completely separate because it's one of the best ways to secure your seed phrase. Um, also, reminder, and this is a big important part as well, they've also had a data breach. They can encourage customers to wear hardware wallets as public jewelry. They can always leak private keys from an enclave with further firmware updates. Now, it is sort of a far fetch that this could ever happen but basically i think what he's getting at here is that 
if there's a possibility, they already have the possibility to collect your seed phrase. If there's a possibility that seed, these seed phrases can be exposed, then there's always a danger that your cryptos are in trouble. So that's what he's getting at with this whole ledger thing. And I, I do tend to agree with him. Now, Ledger have tried to respond to a lot of this criticism through a Twitter AMA space that they did hold shortly after the announcement of their recovery service, where their CEO, Pascal Gautier, Gautier, I hope I have said his name correctly, but Pascal basically defended their offering saying, you're saying this is not what customers want. Actually, this is what future customers want. This is the way that the next hundreds of millions of people were actually on board to crypto. Now, while he's saying that could be true, your current customer base are not very happy with this. And in actual fact, they could have actually released a secondary service where you actually pay for this, where you have a hot wallet where your seed phrase is stored by other individuals or other companies. Instead, they are forcing this update on existing customers and are making people very uncomfortable, especially when they don't want their seed phrases exposed. Even if they do not opt in, there is still the possibility that that seed phrase can be you know, compromised and sent all over the internet in an unencrypted, unencrypted manner. Now, moving on, what is your next option? A lot of people would possibly think about going to Trezor. I do have my doubts with Trezor. There have been some concerns, and this is the main one here. This is an article that came out around about March of 2023, where they actually joined up with um, a coin join and a company that sort of helped them around privacy. But there was, in the terms and conditions, it was actually exposed that the tool is a capitulation to government censorship. It, it ha have the potential to block Bitcoin transactions that are for things like buying guns, ammo, sexual content, alleged copyright violations, credit repair services, and much, much more. They also don't have to say why they are blocking your transaction. Now, while it could be a good thing that some of these transactions are stopped, the fact that a wallet that is supposed to be keeping your crypto secure actually blocks you from buying things off the wallet is pretty dangerous. And I think that's what they've given up when it comes to compliance. You know, Trezor is obviously pretty, they claim that they are compliant with a whole bunch of regulations around the world. So they're stopping compliance for privacy, which is not always the best. Trezor have also been in the news recently for the wrong reasons for a couple of things. There's been some fake Trezor wallets that have been sold. Um, and also, they've been under attack in, SMS, in an SMS phishing campaign as well. So, Trezor is not necessarily your next best option. I am going to have a shameless plug here. I am partnered with Tangent Wallet. I do think they are a fantastic product. If it is something that you are interested in, it's a great hardware wallet. They do avoid a lot of what is going on here. There is a link in the description where you will get a discount if you buy the Tangent Wallet. Um, I am partnered with them, so I'm probably biased in saying this, but obviously I do think that it is a good solution compared to what we have seen going down with Tangem and so on. There are other products online and out there, so go ahead, check them out for yourself. They are really, really, really good products that probably will avoid a lot of what Trezor and Ledger have gone through as well. So that's all that I'm going to be talking about today. Drop a comment down below what you think about Ledger. If you think it's safe to, to still have everything stored there, if you're going to be moving away from it, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.